Gang YouTube, this your girl Wifey here, and I am bringing you a new video. Uh, 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 uh. Today's video is about how I make my money working full time from home. So, if you are a stay at home mom, a stay at home dad, if you are someone who um, has a little bit of skills and some research capabilities then this is the video for you before i get started with this video please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel like you're here you see my videos you know what i'm talking about you know i give you that shosh that secret shosh that keeps you going i know you want to join the squad so you might as well just Hit that subscribe button below give me two thumbs up if you like this video and comment below and let me know what you think the first way I make money from home is graphic design so as far as graphic design my little background is I started off doing um, graphics in college um, I was in the studios a lot my husband who is now my husband but my boyfriend at the time um, he had me in the studios with him and I would meet people and they needed like album or mixtape covers and so I would you know design these little designs for like $50 a pop and even logo designs $50 a pop and kind of, well 35 starting off um, and kind of just would like get my experience up get my feel for the the program shout out to my cousin she was the first person to give me Adobe Photoshop so she showed me just a little something and she was like, here, your best friend is YouTube. So YouTube, in my head, I call it YouTube University, taught me everything that I needed to know about graphic design. And from there, along with experience, uh, working with clients and building up my portfolio, I became this um, experienced graphic designer. So that was my uh, first step out into the graphic design world. Um, after that, I got jobs working as a graphic designer, um, a junior graphic designer. I worked for Howard University. When I left working for corporate, uh, I was able to basically explore at being a full-time stay-at-home mom and graphic designer. So most of my clients randomly came from random places on social media. The second way I make money uh, working from home is by creating websites. So um, if you are not familiar with how to develop a website, it's totally fine. Um, I would suggest if you are new to the website world, do some research with all of these. Please do your research. Um, get some experience go on youtube university we're already here and just kind of explore and double and dab and kind of see what you can or what you are comfortable with because in my head you can do anything you put your mind to so there's all types of places you can create websites at shopify you have squarespace you have wix you have wordpress you have um all types of stuff everything is just not coming to my head but it's all types of uh, places where you can create websites the next way I make money working from home is through social media management so um, like I said earlier I am a social media strategist and you're probably like what the f is that so basically um, I manage business accounts or business social media platforms for uh, companies, for individuals who own a business, for individuals who are bloggers. Um, I manage their accounts so I create the content for them. I even, because I have my graphic design experience, I put that in my packages. So um, managing social media uh, accounts can be a hassle, but if you are interested in doing so, then you can use like uh, platforms like um, Hootsuite or I think it's called Plainoli. Plainoli. I'll I'll put the link below. Um, where you can basically manage multiple clients um, a month. That has been relatively consistent with what has been going on this past year. The next thing is email marketing. A lot of people are like, "What marketing? Ain't that everything?" But email marketing specifically, I feel like it's something that you have to do 
additional to if you are a business owner additional to getting graphics on a monthly basis making your social media being consistent posting every day email marketing is a great way to make money because with email marketing again it's monthly things so you can offer a service of okay so I will shoot your customers an email monthly bi-weekly every week whatever you can give me the content or I can write the content for you and that is going into the next way we make money content creation so if you've never heard of what a content creator is basically is self-explanatory they create your content there are places where they will pay you to uh, create content um, on blog sites so if you're interested I will leave that link below but I also I have to mention this I do have a friend who um, I just got you know convinced to get back into her blogging space and now she is um, starting her own business as a content creator and you know she writes posts on her own posts and she's been getting so much traffic it's just crazy she just started not probably like a month maybe two ago and her traffic is super crazy so people have come to her on another basis and what she does on the side or just still a part of her consecrating creation business is she writes students essays and papers and stuff like that like if I was back in college, and I mean, I was studious, so I really, I didn't trust anybody to write my papers. But if I was back in college, and I was just on, you know, I only had this amount of time, but I had a big budget, and I, you know, money wasn't no object. Here, I'm going to throw you this paper. Hey, can you write this paper? I typically make a B, so could you give me a B? Or, you know, I'm an A student. I don't, I just forgot about the paper. Um it's last minute i'm so sorry i have the money though how much and this that is exactly what she does and in it's a pretty penny you know what i'm saying like it's all in however you price and whoever you're marketing to but definitely it's something that you should definitely consider so the next way is virtual assistant i and not new to being someone's virtual assistant. I have um, dabbled in many virtual assistant programs, many virtual assistant websites, and um, even with those websites, when you are a virtual assistant for them, what you have to realize is they get a cut before you get your cut. So um, with certain programs or certain websites, it's kind of like some bull. Um, although you are getting booked and you are building your experience so if you don't have experience I would say that it's a great place to start however you can you can leave that that is not your only option and when you go from there to working for yourself you just build up your your clientele and virtual assistants can be scheduling it can be which my husband does virtual assistance for um, a bar here in Atlanta um, and it's, I mean, it's like nothing. Someone calls and says, hey, I wanna book this event at this bar or this venue, and he basically books it for them. Or the, the customers, not the customers, but the, the workers have to have scheduling. So virtual assistance is something that can be done on a retainer fee, um, on a monthly basis, that it's all, in, again, it's all in however you see your worth so if you have experience i say charge more if you don't have as much experience then look around and look at your competitors and see how much they are charging or and then charge a little bit below just to kind of build up your clientele and even when i say build up your clientele make sure that your clients leave you with great testimonials because that is the way that people uh build their trust with you if someone new is coming onto your website which which is something that a company, all companies should definitely have, then it's like, okay, I want to try this company, but I don't see anybody that says they ever tried it. That's just like buying something online from like Amazon and no one has made a review. So you're just kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to get my money's worth. That's basically it. The next one is website testing. So um, I will leave all types of places below where you can apply to be a website tester, but 
truly it is super super simple sometimes it only takes me 10 to 15 minutes and I'm making five to ten dollars just testing someone's website on a desktop on the uh, iPad or mobile on the cell phone so um, there's a website a couple websites um, one is try my UI and another one is what users do and like I said you have to apply and do it like a sample portion so basically they'll send a link out now you have to be like the first person to read that email so it is competitive but it is some money on the side like I can't complain it's, it's still moolah baby with this I go on I click the link it tells me what exactly what it wants me to do I basically am speaking out loud on my experience using their website using their mobile app whatever it is and then I just send in the footage all you need is a laptop you need the internet and you just need a pair of headphones or something with a microphone that is it that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it was a lot going on but there are several ways you can make money just by working from home honestly it's it's super 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 simple as long as you do the research you get your experience up and you know what the hell you're talking about okay leave me a comment below and let me know what you're comfortable with what is something new that i mentioned or maybe it's something that i missed that um makes you money working from home that is all guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>